Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to Dr. Noraini Binti Marsi. Today we will present you about our project which is Times Square Tower. And I will present you our group members. The first one is Muhammad Ashraf Fahmi bin Ahmad Faizal and myself Muhammad Syukur bin Muhammad Yusuf, Matia Banan, anak lelaki Sukumaran dan Siti Nur Amira binti Hamdan. And I will present you about the introduction of tower. The tower is a tall and wide building. The tower can stand by itself or be supported via way of mean of adjoining building or it is able to be a function on pinnacle of a bigger shape or building. From Oxford, Oxford Dictionary, tower is defined as a tall, narrow structure that is either freestanding or is part of a larger structure. A load bearing wall, also known as bearing wall, is an active structure feature of a building that bear the weight of the element above it by transferring the weight to a foundation structure. Load bearing wall are gauge to the required thickness to hold the weight above them, depending on the style of building and the number of level. The main purpose of this wall is to enclose or divide the building space in order to make it more practical and usable. And the problem background is the straw is used as the principal structure materials in straw load bearing tower structure. So the straw is the main purpose to make the tower. The model of the tower must not weigh more than 0.7 kg and between 25 cm in length, 25 cm in width, and 30 cm in height. This project goal is to construct a study and stable tower, investigating the highest force applied to the structure established a design solution, calculate the loading bearing tower model, normal stress, normal strain, thin cylinder, and column. And the problem statement is build a model of loading bearing tower by using a straw, construct a robust and stable tower capable of withstanding a maximum load until it is fall, investigate the highest force applied on structure, and the objective are demonstrate the tower work effectively, build the tower according to the size and weight that have been set, and show the calculation and solution using solid mechanic theory that involves to the loading bearing tower model. And that's all from me. Thank you. Hello, my name is Majiwan and Sukumaran and my metric number is CN200084. Today I will present about the literature review. Literature review also consists of research on a specific topic it gives a knowledge and specific theories. Tower is three, field tower. Overall, the structure of uh, Eiffel Tower is vertically axis between the two columns, but it's intuitive as a own axis that follow the curve of the element which identify as a parabolas. The next is Langkawi's Catwish. The Langkawi's Catwish is made of the pylon structure. The deck is supported by a series of triangular thrusts. Third one, Transmission Tower. The Transmission Tower also uses pylon, uh, pylon structure. Normal stress and normal strain. Stress is defined as a force applied per unit. The normal stress at the perpendicular point may be not equal to the average stress, but is the resultant of the normal stress distribution must satisfy the formula for the stress. The normal stress may be tensile or compressive. It it it's done from the acting perpendicular to the plane of the cross section. Strain strain occurs whenever the axial loading of the object responds to the normal stress. If the if the strain is positive, call as a Tensile strain. If strain is negative, it is called as a compressive strain. The formula for the strain beam deformation it is uh, usually expressed in terms of deformation from the particular unloaded position. It is measured from the initial neutral surface of the beam to the neutral surface of the deformation. Thin cylinder. Thin wall refers to a vessel having an inner radius to wall thickness radius of 10 or 1 per 10 of the radius of the container. There are some applications used in the industry which is pressure tank. When the diameter cylinder is divided by the thickness of the diameter, as a value larger than 10 means the cylinder is thick. If the if value is small, smaller than 10 means cylinder is thin. The function is to calculate the state of the stress in a cylinder. Column. Column are long slender members subjected to an axial compressive force. The lateral deflection that occurs can be called as a buckling. The column will buckle over the principal axis of the cross section having the least moment of inertia. 
allular formula for various types of support. This is the formula for the allular formula and uh, to calculate the critical stress. Buckling stress equal to the buckling load for cross-sectional area. That's it for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. My name is Siti Nur Amira Binti Hamdan. I would like to present the chapter 3, which is the methodology of this project. This is the introduction. This is the project methodology. We start from flow chart. Okay, uh, the flow chart. Uh, first, we start, and then the title was given by the lecturer. Uh, second, data and information we collected. And third, straw design have been sketched. Uh, for uh, we buy the materials and item that needed. Uh, fifth, uh, we build the tower model. Uh, and then uh, we test the model by running the experiment. Uh, and uh, and lastly, uh, full project report and final presentation. For the planning, we used to read the question and write down all the information and requirements that were stated in the question, such as the length and height of our tower, as well as its maximum width. We, uh, we then decide to sketch and draw a model of the tower, then we construct the model according to the blueprints. Finally, we conduct the experiment on that tower in order to gather data for the calculation and finish our assignment with good presentation. And for the data collection, uh, data was collected from variety of sources for this research. For example, we obtained the idea for the tower design from the internet and we discuss, discuss it among us to come up with the materials for the structure. In addition, we solicited report ideas directly from students and then we focus more on data collection because it is the most significant component of this project. For the selection of material, the proper material must be chosen carefully in order to make a decent and effective project. Straw, mounting bar, and cell phone tape were among the supplies chosen from my group for this project. Straw serves as the tower body because it is the simplest material to substitute when constructing the project model. And the cost? The cost for this project is not too expensive and easy to find. Uh, straw, uh, such as straw, duct tape, double tape, and hot glue can all be bought from a local store, while the rest of the supplies are already on hands. And then this is uh, the working process uh, to make the tower. So first step, uh, we sketch the tower to describe uh, the tower that uh, we need to build. And then second, we prepare all the equip, uh, item that needed to put the tower. And then the sec uh, third, uh, we attach the straw together uh, to make tower framework. And then uh, step four, uh, we all add trust uh, to all framework together to make sure that tower can able to carry load. Uh, and then uh, step five. Uh, we attach the truss framework with the glue and double tape and the step 6 was the final tower that we wanted. And the last uh, of the uh, project methodology, uh, this is uh, model testing. Uh, the operational condition of the stro uh, straw load bearing tower model was tested and the result was recorded after the constru construction method and improvement to the time square tower were completed. That's all from me uh, and I will pass it to Mama Ashraf to present the next.
Hello, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Syafami Dhamad Faizal I will present about chapter 4 which is result, calculation and discussion For result, we discover that the model tower will handle the various loads that were applied to it based on the testing that was done for the 10 square tower uh, The tower weight is 0.136 kg We utilize a package of sugar as a load to test and analyze the maximum load each packet of sugar weight is 1 kg all loads are placed on top of the tower to see how much weight it can support <coughs> so this is the table that uh, shown the result of the load that can the tower can hold at load 10 kg the tower the tower has collapsed and shown it has failed uh, to hold the load <coughs> In conclusion, this is the table of dimension tower. <coughs> so the length is 0 0.25, height is 0 0.33, which is 0 0.25. Diameter of stroke is 0 0.005. Stroke thickness is 0 0.0002. Outer radius is 0 0.0025, and inner radius is 0 0.0023. <coughs> So in this picture is the normal stress which is the formula is stress equal to P over A equal to M times G over A So the final result for normal stress is 29.27 MPA For the stress when the tower fails is at 10 kg which is the final result for stress fail is 32.53 MPA <coughs> Normal strength Because the time square tower is made of straws, we need to figure out what plastic straws will compress of polypropylene is used to make the plastic straw and its young modulus is 1325 MPA So the normal strength formula is normal strength equal to stress over young modulus E The final result for normal strength is 0 .00, 0 0.022 <coughs> 14 cylinder and the top of the tower works as a compressive force on the 9 kg load when it is placed on it we can calculate the hook, the hook stress and longitudinal, longitudinal stress operating on the top of the tower due to the straw under 9 kg of load we consider that 9 kg burden is uniformly distributed among the 25 straws that make up the tower stop <coughs> so the final result for the Hoop stress is 40.618 PA while longitude, longitudinal stress result is 20.309 PA <coughs> For column, when weight is applied to the tower, the structure can withstand up to a particular amount of force However, at some point, the building will crumble or, or collapse as a result, there is a point at which the force is larger than the support's capacity and this force is referred to as critical force because the support tower, towers are fixed at both ends K is 0.5 constant for the type of support This is the formula for column which is the final result is 7.296 PA <coughs> And lastly is discussion we calculated various components of our tower using our dis understanding of solid mechanics including normal stress, normal strain, chain cylinder and column Because our tower is operating as a constant load in the middle, it can be uniformly dispersed to the top of the tower or the tower support As a result, the user stress on the support as well as the top of the tower are measured Using straw as the primary raw material and mas masking tape and hot glue gun to link the straw because some straws may be a little longer or shorter when shaping the proper size due mainly to human error when using the tape. We determine to the dimensions of the tower were not totally exact. The normal strain was calculated using normal stress on Young's modulus based on the value we obtained to check if the deformation of the supports is significant as a result of solidity. The loop and longitudinal stress of each straw of the on the top of the tower were then 
calculated using the concept tin cylinder. Finally, we use a concept volume to determine the maximum force that the structure can withstand before it fails. When we add, when we add a 10 kilogram load to the top of the tower, it became the collapse. Collapse. We can deduct that the tower is not robust and stable enough to resist strain, and that the junction between the struts is insufficient to enable the tower from collapsing. So from me, thank you. Hello, my name is Madhivan and Sugumaran and my metric number is CN200084. Today I will present about the conclusion. As conclusion, our straw bridge can hold up until 9 kg. When we should narrow the rises when testing our tower with load a smaller rise will provide a more sensitive outcome and it will able to know at which specified amount of the load the tower will fail by providing us with a more accurate result according to this model we learn that design and build buildings which have a large base area will have a greater stability when we compare to the small base area the design trust in a tower is the main part at least the support load and increase the rigidity of the tower. Thank you.